what's up? I don't, mm, nope, don't wanna do that. It's very cringy to me right now. Like you can tell I'm uncomfortable because I keep touching my fingers. But I think it's because I never start my thrift haul videos like this at all, ever, as you guys know. I always do my come thriftings with me and then I attach the thrift haul, but this time I didn't. It's honestly because all of the items that I got, it was like one of those things where if I was running an errand, I was like, let me stop by the thrift store. And surprisingly, it just turned into this huge, massive thrift haul. So I'm so sorry that I don't have a come thrifting with me because I know you guys do like to see those, but the next one, I promise it will have that. But yeah, all of these items that you will see, I did get at the Goodwill in Folsom and at the Goodwill in Orangeville. So they're kind of like right next to each other. Nowhere else. Actually, I did get one at Upscale Thrift in Folsom. I don't really talk about that, but I do have a video on that thrift store. I'll link it down below and yeah that's pretty much it we're just gonna get right on into this thrift haul if you are curious or like like any of the items i do have a depop and all that and that's gonna be at viola demion and we're just gonna get right on into this haul i guess we'll just start with shirts because it's the one i'm that i'm wearing and it's just gonna be obviously you can see it's a Von Dutch one. I am obsessed with it because it's like the classic pink lettering. Honestly, a lot of the stuff that I got in this video, it's just a ton of early 2000s stuff and as you guys know i'm like a whore for the early 2000s like it's my favorite fashion era which is funny because it's like the tackies but i don't know i just love it so that's what i tend to pick up at the thrift but this one i actually found in the kids section i do have it rolled up and tied a little bit because of the outfit i'll show you guys like the outfit that i'm wearing right now but um yeah the kids section uh they have so many good stuff they're hidden i have found so many juicy tracksuits there i don't know if like they think it's kid stuff or not but but this definitely is was not kids. I am obsessed with it. I also did find this one with it. Now this one definitely is kids. But if you guys watched one of my old thrift hauls, I actually picked up this exact same shirt in like a dark blue and it's huge and this one says always be you it is so freaking cute actually i'm gonna show you guys the shirt right now so here's the shirt that was literally the same and as you can see this is like a big t-shirt like this is not a kid size like little kids and i don't know they're just like exactly the same and i think it is just the cutest little shirt i love anything like this like lisa frank inspired now this baby pink not baby pink but like v-neck tie-dye looks pretty boring Boring, you know but you turn it around and it's true religion and I'm not like a big fan of true religion or anything like that but honestly the rhinestones are what sold me on this it is so stinking cute I wish this was in the front and I would keep it but since it's like the v-neck and I don't really like to wear a lot of v-necks I'm gonna put this one up on my depop and then on the bottom it actually does have it embroidered true religion I think it's really cute and then I have this BB just regular tank but I don't even know if this is actually BB I honestly don't think it is but i just think it's funny because it says babies like boobies i don't know it's just cute for like the summer i couldn't pass up a simple black adidas tee i try not to pick up as many adidas t-shirts because honestly um the amount of adidas that's at the thrift store or at least in my area is ridiculous it's actually really funny to me that people will go to like urban outfitters and pay full price for adidas when um I always find it at the thrift store. Like I find so many Adidas graphics, so many like track pants, track suits, like everything. Believe me, if you're from this area, like you will find Adidas if you're like searching for Adidas, just go to the thrift store. You'll save yourself so much money and this like classic black tee, I could not pass up. And then this shirt, I almost screamed. Honestly, it's not like that cute. It's just my favorite picture of Kate Moss. I don't know I might sell this I might not but I really want this like on a picture like in my room really bad I think it's like one of her most iconic photos not her like iconic photos but you see this in a lot of like fashion houses if that makes sense I see this a lot in a lot of like the home decors that I pin on Pinterest and I don't know I just love it I think it's cute and then this shirt I think is honestly really funny because I'm just a troll and it's just this shirt that says American Idiot, obviously American Idol logo. It's just, it's cute. Just throw on, grab a cup of coffee, get some donuts in the morning. It's just like one of those shirts. Like this is the shirt that you wear that too. This tank top, it's just a, I don't know, zebra one, but it's really 
thick. It's also really long as well, so I'm probably 100% gonna crop it in some way because this is just ridiculously long. And I think it would be more cuter as like a crop, especially in the summer. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the shirts. I did get one sweater actually, and it's just this Mickey one. I thought it was really cute because like it has the plaid collar and does it have the sleeves? No, but it matches like the M on it. I don't know, anytime I pick up anything Disney, you guys seem to like it. So that's why I keep picking that up for you. And then the juicy tracksuit. So I didn't get that many. I only got three, but still really good staples starting with these juicy uh, pants. I'm obsessed with them. These are like the OG that have the little um, pockets on the butt. I love pockets like this because they make your butt look 10 times bigger than it actually is and they fit me perfectly. Orange is really hard to come across for juicy tracksuits. If you guys do watch my thrifting videos a lot, you'll know that anytime I go thrifting, at least in one of my every thrift haul or every other thrift haul i do find juicy tracksuits i don't know what it is maybe it's because i live in an area where um there's a lot of just rich moms that are just getting rid of all their juicy tracksuits because i find them all the time it's ridiculous and it's really cheap too i only find them for like seven dollars it's never like highly priced and the one time i did find an orange tracksuit it was actually a way too big of a size for me so i'm really glad that i found these and then i got this pink juicy this is more of a like lighter like a salmon color not quite as pink and it's simple it has the j and then the back honestly is a little bit i don't i don't want to say it's busted but it's you could tell it's kind of messed up but it says go juicy and you can see that there was probably like supposed to be a lot of sparkles but i mean it's not bad it's still pretty cute and all that matters honestly is the front okay and then you can go to the thrift store and get some matching pink velour sweats they don't have to be juicy i say that all the time you can mix and match i always see bb velour i see just regular velour this one is definitely one that i'm probably gonna keep which is crazy because i probably should get rid of a lot of my juicy tracksuits if you guys do want to know or anything like that i do have a actually juicy styling lookbook where you can kind of see my juicy tracksuit collection so i'll link that down below but this is probably one of the best juicy ones i have found because it has the cute little j heart that's actually velour and then the back of it has juicy rules what does that say juicy rules los angeles and then on the side as well it says los angeles like this is just how much more classic can you get? And I got this for $3. I don't know if I said it in the beginning, that thrift store, Upscale Thrift, this is the only thrift store that I went to. All the other ones that you saw, I did get at Goodwill, but this is what I found at Upscale Thrift. It's in Folsom. I got two bottoms. I know I don't get bottoms as often as I should, but I am obsessed with these skirts. They remind me of, what is that? The Princess Diaries when they're on the beach and they're singing if you guys know what I'm talking about like that's what these skirts remind me of I saw Shuri Madeline I think that's her at name and she was wearing a cheetah one and ever since then I'm like okay that's it I need it and now I'm like in the spring I feel like it's gonna be in it might not be in I could be completely wrong but it's actually the outfit I'll show you guys right now this is gonna be the worst angle ever but this is the little skirt that I am wearing so it's like a cheetah one and it's really long I mean you'll see in the try-on portion but I wore them kind of together I just think it's so cute I love these skirts so much it's kind of like when the high low the high rut like it was high in the front but low in the back if you guys know what I'm talking about like those skirts that were just kind of like I don't really like them these are way better i'm just all about them mean girl in a movie and the last clothing item that i got is a just a snakeskin type of moto jacket because it has that little clasp on it and then i got three purses so starting with this xo one i kept talking about how bad i want to find an xo candy colored one or even like a louis vuitton that would be even better i just think it's so cute in early 2000s and i'm actually wearing it with this outfit i just think it's such a look i love these bags and then i found this tommy one just a simple green one you could really go honestly it would be cute with this outfit too or you could just do a whole monochromatic green look just that pop of green i'm just obsessed with small handbags lately you just you wear a monochromatic look and if you have a matching small handbag it just makes 
the outfit just 10 times cuter and then i found this bag this is kind of like all over the place but it's kind of cute i don't know like all the colors it's just cute you know you can make a really nice outfit with that and then the last thing that i got clothing wise are these shoes oh i'm obsessed with them like i have thrifted black ones i think those will be up on my depop but these ones i'm gonna keep for myself and then i also got two paintings so if you guys watched my room tour you would know that i've been trying to find some paintings for above my computer i'll show you guys like the ones that i got like you'll see it right now but it's like these cherub i've been trying to find the cherub paintings literally everybody and their mom has it now ever since ferrucci or whatever the brand is just went viral with their little tank tops. I was like, I need to have a painting. And I found it for $10 and it's like the cutest painting ever. And then right next to it, I found just like a little flower that I thought was cute. It was like $3. And I just think they look so cute together, like just side by side. I'm really into that whole like, I don't even know, like the cherubs and everything. I mean, wildflower cases just came out with like their little own style. So I don't know, I'm just really into it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this entire haul. Again, I'm sorry that there wasn't like a thrifting portion with it, but hopefully these items kind of made up for it because I feel like these were just some hot pieces. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.